This movie was not good. Like, at all. I'm not surprised they got a 0% from the audience. So basically, the movie is about her mom, her daughter, and her abusive husband. They go to a hotel for a road trip, even though there's a virus going around. Not a lot of people are taking it that seriously. Besides, like, one or two people. I think it was only the character that we never see on screen, actually. The mom that was worried about the virus. Nobody worries about it until it actually gets bad. It's so kind of like what happened with COVID in real life. Anyway. Dad gets sick, he dies, that's the end of that. Though he's really abusive. His last words are just saying he's sorry. Even though he's broke her arm, hurt her back. And just a few minutes before, he says he's sorry while he's dying from the virus. He broke her ankle. But yeah, he said sorry, so. We're all good, people. Um, There's a bit of a side plot with this pregnant girl. Who also has an abusive husband, so. I guess that's real creative. Making the only two characters in the movie have abuse of significant others. She ends up randomly getting killed by one of the people with a virus. Even though she also has the virus. So I guess it's not too much of a rip off of his own movie. But yeah, some people just die, others get violent, but that only happens twice, and this is a horror movie. There's also this random thing where there's this lady hiding in a closet with her daughter. The main character, Val, talks to her for a little bit, and right before she's about to leave, she's like, hey Val, can you close the door on the way out? She's like, what? I didn't tell you my name. But she stops herself from finishing the sentence for whatever reason. Then just leaves to go find her daughter. And that's the end of that. Who was that lady? How did she know her name? Whatever. So then, um... Eventually they get to an elevator. They run into someone with a virus. She fights him off screen. And, um, after she fights him off screen, Jesus, how many snaps is he going to send me? Anyway, um, she fights him off screen, her and her daughter leave, um, they go to a gala that they briefly mentioned that was also in the hotel for charity or whatever. She realizes that none of them know about the sickness. So she doesn't tell them naturally. I mean, yeah, she'd be wasting time in case, you know, any of the aggressive ones get downstairs. But, you know, it's like, oh, she's like, oh my god, they don't know. But then she just doesn't tell them literally anything about it. So, she gets in her car. Then the daughter's hand shakes a little bit, which is what we saw. The one girl that ended up getting the virus happen. So I guess she has the virus. So I mean, they could end the movie there. But they don't. I honestly don't remember what they ended the movie on. But I know it wasn't that. Oh, I remember now. Um, The one pregnant lady that was sort of the main character for a little bit. Um, we, we see her twitching, so I guess she's still alive, even though the last time we saw her, her throat got ripped out. And then the movie just ends. It's pretty terrible. One of the worst movies I've seen. 
No joke. Almost as bad as the one that I watched the other day, but it does not top it. Because, I, I mean, at least it wasn't, you know, too boring. It was really boring and nothing happened, though. <laughs>